what's up and welcome back to today's youtube video today i'm gonna be doing a pack with me for my trip coming up and it's actually tomorrow and i've only started packing now it's monday tomorrow at night i'm flying with my mom to the usa i'm going on like a little college tour trip plus getting to see kaden and kiersey both in illinois chicago and north carolina where kaden is so it's gonna be a really fun girls trip with my mom and i and we have done so much prep already without further ado let's get into today's video okay so i just went to put on this cute outfit i'm thinking of wearing it for the travel day and it's gonna be freezing some days it's raining some days it's just like ice cold so i thought i would bring this like black puffer it's from zara so i'm wearing this because it's like the biggest thing i have so might as well just wear it so it doesn't take up all my space in my suitcase i'm wearing this cute jumpsuit i just got it it's from four days you can see right here and kelty also has a brown one but my mom is gonna be using it so we're gonna be matching on the trip guys matching um let's get packing i'm gonna make sure and think through all my outfits for day by day so i'm so out of breath i'm like really hyper stay tuned uh, let's go actually before we start packing i wanted to do some fake nails so i just found these and they're kind of like ombre sparkly my hands I have self tan on them. That is also something I did. If you guys didn't notice, I did fake tan. So I'm definitely a little bit orange, but it's fine. So yeah, I'm going to use this nail glue and stick these babies on and see if they look good. I've never done fake nails before. Okay, I'm going to do the other hand off camera. They are definitely way too long. So I am going to be cutting them. So I'll see you in the final product. Let's go to Ethiopia. So we're going for like almost two weeks, which is quite a while. I have a lot of stuff to pack, but I'm also going to be spending my Sweet 16 birthday there on the last day. Went around safari, which is so fun. Yeah, I have a lot to pack. Okay, we're back. My suitcase is open. I have a bunch of things to fold. So my dad said the weather, like most of the nights might be like chilly. And then like during the day, it'll be like warm. So I kind of packed for both seasons. First up as my like kind of coat cardigan. Uh, I mean, what is this called? What is this called? Crew So as like a warm layer. I don't know if I'm also going to bring a jacket. Probably. It's a smart idea. But for now, all I have is this cotton on green crew neck. If it's chilly, I can just like throw this on. I'm also bringing these American Eagle bell bottom dark pairs of jeans because where we're going might be like more rural areas or like dusty or anything like that. I just don't want to bring a lighter pair. I have these nice dark pair. And then also the new jeans that I got for Christmas. These are also just good and basic. I thought I would bring these just because, I don't know. I just feel like they're good simple pair of bottoms to have. Next up I have these American black jean shorts. Black is perfect and when it's hot, I feel like I'm gonna be wearing these most of the days, honestly. <laughs> And then another pair of shorts. These are just like blue Nike shorts for working out because in like some of the hotels or whatever we'll stay in, I can either go on runs, go to the gym, any active thing. And then I also have some sleep shorts. These are comfortable. I kind of want to bring another pair of like something not too short, but something when it's hot that I can wear outside when we go places. And then moving on to tops. I think that's all my bottoms. Yeah. I feel like I should add one pair of all the bottoms or either like a long skirt because I feel like that's really appropriate and good to wear there. So starting off with my shirts, I just have this Duke long t-shirt. Being covered up is much more appropriate when we are there. That is good. We're going to be going to my grandparents, which I'm so excited, and then a few other friends, and then my dad. Well, this is my pajama shirt, just like a thinner long sleeve. I feel like that's really good. Next top I have is kind of this very like Justice 2016 kind of vibes, but it's just like this 
not really cardigan to this little jacket light thing I feel like this is perfect next shirt I have is this yellow like tank top from forever 21 just in case it gets hotter I want to have some like actual kind of tank tops but not too cropped next up I thought this is perfect when you go on our like safari or whatever you know or like when we're the rural areas in the bush I feel like it'd be super fun to wear this snake skin patterned top this is one of my favorite tops I wore on our recent safari that we went to. and I also have this shirt that I picked up when we were on a safari it's this really cute baby pink basic tee with a little elephant and it says South Africa it's great quality and I think since this is like the cutest top I have I'm gonna wear this on my sweet 16th birthday I also have a few other things that I need to pack for that and then the last top I have is just this plain black t-shirt this is the most basic thing and I feel like I'm gonna wear this a lot so I feel like this is a good amount of tops t-shirts and then last thing if, in case it's like really hot or something I have just this little white it's not too cropped white tank top that I can definitely wear under this I feel like this is perfect outfit with some jean shorts or jeans oh also I have this tank top which I feel like also fits the vibe with that pattern this like really cool pattern tank top I feel like it's very African this is super thin if it gets really hot again perfect tank top moving on to like swimsuits because when you go to the place where we're staying in our safari or like a hotel or something there are gonna be swimming pools and it might be hot but I just have this full body white one I feel like that's like a pretty appropriate one and then I just have some black bottoms to go with two bikini tops when I'm like like swimming on the safari I can wear this like cool cheetah print one I just have this neon yellow one that I think I might wear in case we swim on my birthday this is one of my favorite ones it is adorable and so bright and then I also have some undergarments and then I will show you guys my toiletries and accessories okay next up are toiletries so basically I have so basically this is just like all my extra stuff and also some extra storage okay let's pack this bag so it has two zippers I'm going to be using one for more of my skincare like face products or whatever deodorant necessary I have my retainer box I wish it was one of the thinner ones for like traveling but that's okay and then I'm also going to bring some blush just like this one you guys have probably seen it on my TikTok and YouTube videos but yeah I like to bring this one it's very compact which is nice so I can just put it in there and then a brush just in case we go out for a fancy dinner sometime or on my 16th birthday, I want to get a little bit more dressed up. I don't really know what occasion. I'm not bringing a lot of makeup because I don't think I need to while I'm there. I just kind of want to have a break and feel more like natural. I'm bringing just one thing of mascara and then a lip balm, like lip gloss. Obviously some hand sanitizer. I can never go anywhere without them. I have a little collection up there, but I am bringing the snowy peach berry. This one reminds me of my grandparents who are actually coming on this trip. That's gonna be super exciting. I don't know, it just does, beautiful. Oh, amazing. Since we're leaving on Wednesday and today is Monday, I also have to fit my toothbrush and toothpaste in here, so I'll fit that in later. Other side, I'm going to be packing my hairbrush, a flashlight, just like a little one, in case we're anywhere in the dark, you know, never go wrong, especially like in the areas we're going in, just in case. And then I'm gonna bring a few more, but I have a bunch of hair ties. Also gonna bring this headband. I have this really cute pin that I got randomly from somewhere, and so I feel like it'd be really fun. There's a bunch of little children, and they all run up to you and hug you. You see them all when you're walking down the streets, and it's super fun. And I feel like if I find a really cute child, I would love to give this just like a little pin to them to like make their day or whatever. Whatever. Definitely my goal is to give this to someone by the end of the trip. So for accessories, again, I don't want to bring like a lot of makeup, fancy stuff because I don't think it's really necessary on this type of a trip. But the only earrings I'm going to be bringing are these ones right here. They're just basic little silver hoops with some stars. And then I also have this really cute cross necklace. And I also feel like this is very appropriate and matching. And I think that's all. That's literally all I'm packing. What I just showed you guys. I am also going to pick out my travel outfit with you guys right now but first intermission to Kaya's packing see y'all later hey y'all so today is a very special day it is the actual day that I'm leaving to America so I'm gonna be showing you guys what I am packing in my carry-on and then I also have my backpack here that I'm gonna be taking on the plane and then behind you guys, my hockey bag is there with everything already packed, so I'm not gonna take it out, but it's like my hockey stick, shin guards, mouth guard, everything that I need to play. Also behind you is my outfit that I already showed you, um, like in the beginning of the video, with what I'm gonna be wearing on the plane. 
So without further ado, let's get in to what I'm bringing with me. Okay, so I'm just gonna start off with my backpack. This is gonna go under the seat in front of me. I always like to bring a stuffed animal. I don't like neck rests because I feel like they just are not comfortable enough for me. So this molds to like whatever I need. Hopefully if I lie against the window, then I can use this for my neck. This is what my best friend got me from America. It's a little sleeping mask. So I've never traveled with one before and I think this will really help me sleep a lot better. And then in here is all my toiletries. I'm just gonna show you guys a quick glance of it. This is actually not my toiletry bag. This is my, it's my makeup bag. And I have some necklaces in the front with some jewelry in it. But yeah, I just have the basic stuff like eyelash curlers, beauty sponge, beauty blender, whatever you call it. Some brushes, a little bit of makeup because I am planning to go out out to Cheesecake Factory with my mom and oldest sister. So I've also brought a little fancy outfit for that night. Oh yeah, I need to put this in there. I also made sure that I have the right amount of liquid because obviously you can't travel with too much. And then this is my second bag. I have my retainer, a new razor head, which is nice because then I can just bring the body of the razor and it won't cut me or anything when I open it. Got some little creams, toothbrush, and self tanner just in case I want to tan up before I see anyone. I've got two pairs of sunglasses that I'm bringing. They're both different styles. Today I wore one when I went out with my dad this morning. So this is the one pair. It's this cute like Ray-Ban type style one. I'm bringing another one which is I feel like a little bit more bougie. It's this one. So they're kind of cute, rectangly. I call them the TV sunglasses or iPhone sunglasses. They are very big. And then I'm gonna be bringing a brush and two pairs of socks, just in case I get cold on the airplane. And then I'm bringing my wallet, which I literally haven't like used my wallet in forever. Like I can't remember the last time I used this because all I do these days is Apple Pay. I'm very excited to use this. I found three dollars in here which i don't even know where that came from and then a bunch of american quarters and everything that i never used over here in south africa also did anyone ever when you were younger used to take little gift cards from stores and we all know that like this one's from gap we all know that it has no money on them but as a kid you just wanted to fill your wallet with them to feel like your mom and feel all professional anywho so i have a ton of those in there so I'm putting this in there because I can use those dollars and quarters for like machines if they're in the airport. Oh, why not? And then I'm bringing my devotions book. This is Exploring God Youth Edition. Such a great book. We've been going through this as a family every Tuesday and Thursday. Definitely recommend. I don't know where you get it. Maybe Amazon. But I'll see if I can link it in the description. So I'm putting this in there so I can keep up with my Bible study. There's actually this little pocket for like a computer. So I'm going to put that in there so it doesn't get damaged. Okay, and then maybe some snacks when I get to the airport, but that's basically it. Oh, I also am bringing a water bottle, travel sized. So now on to my carry-on. I'm using this black one, actually my dad's. And I've already packed in this whole bag of like undergarments. Okay, this is my carry-on bag, so I can't use the extension. Hello? We'll figure that out later. Okay, so I'm just gonna start off with pajamas. It's been winter in America, so I'm gonna be bringing these Christmas themed pajamas just because like I know they're so comfy and I wanna get a lot of use out of them because they're my favorite. And I am bringing a ton and a ton of sweaters. Winter clothes does take up a lot of storage, but luckily we are checking a bag so I can put like my real bulky stuff in that bag. So I've got this cute adorable sweater. It says love and it's actually my mom's. And then I'm bringing this long sleeve turtleneck. It says New York on the arms. I feel like that'd be cute as a layer up. And then I have this other black top it has like a cross in the neck part just to layer on. So I'm gonna put these in here. It's gonna be a very full bag, but that's all right. Okay, I'm gonna put this in the bottom. It's my curling iron. It's so nice that I can finally use this easily because right now under here, see that little box down there? It's like a transformer thing so that I can convert my American appliances to like the American current because South African current electricity is different. Whatever, whole science technology lesson, but I'm bringing these two short sleeve tops. They kind of look like this from Forever 21. Just a fun color, good basic to match under a sweater. So bringing the gray one at that too. Here's another shirt I'm bringing. Another basic, just tank top. Can put under something. I'm bringing this top for church. I feel like it's cute, ruffly church vibes, you know? Okay, put this in here. This is those short sleeves. 
Today I'm also trying to speak a little bit more slowly because I feel like in vlogs I always try and make it very hype and energetic but I just need to learn to calm down so I'm not always out of breath when I'm speaking. Next thing I'm bringing is this cute adorable turtle neck. Turtleneck? Now I'm questioning whether it's called that. I think it's called the turtleneck sweater. Super cute, minty green. This next sweater I'm bringing has some brown, cream, and this nice blue color, which I can pair with black jeans. I already thought about these outfits and what I'm going to be pairing them with. The basic that I'm probably going to be wearing under every single thing is a black turtleneck. Hey, yeah, it is turtleneck. That felt better this time saying it. And then I have my long sleeves and this is my pink one. It's more like a sweatshirty type material, but still bringing it for a layer and warmth then I have these um, long sleeve shirts also I know these are from H&M but aren't they so cute they're full length not cropped which I wanted they're fun colors too oh hello world. Hey. moving on I have my pants and I've tried on these to make sure they all fit and are cute so I've got one pair of Brandy Melville bell-bottom comfy comfy pants Next up, I have these Lululemon cheetah type print leggings. A pair of black leather pants. They're actually V-shaped in the front, so it's very flattering. Cute. This one I'm gonna be wearing for Cheesecake Factory. And then I have these pink pants from Cotton On. They're really cute, jeany jean type material. Then Zara black jeans, just as a staple black piece. My bag is getting very full over here. Okay, so I am going to be working out a ton when I'm there. Whether it's a hockey clinic or just working out with my sisters. Because I'm going to visit their colleges and I feel like it'd be fun to do something active. So I'm bringing this winter Columbia little thin fleecy type coat. Also, I can be wearing it as a layer in a normal outfit. So I thought that would be nice. And then my athletic clothes for my hockey clinic are right over here. I have two pairs of shorts. Liberty colors are red, white, and blue. So I thought these are perfect. And they look like this. They're like the perfect cut of shorts for my length of body because I feel like some shorts are just too long and I've got short legs. So, and then I've got a Lululemon magenta type color, violet, whatever. A pair of Nike hot pants, normal black tank, long sleeve gray shirt, and a zip up which kind of looks like the Lulu Define jacket, but it's from one of my hockey clinics that I've done at Nexus. That's what that looks like. I'm getting so full. Don't know how this is gonna sit. Okay, that was the last thing. This is going in the check bag that my mom and I are checking. It's this big Brandy Melville thick hoodie type zip up. So let's see if I can zip this up quickly. Also just did my nails yesterday and they're so nice. They're actually stick on and they've been staying so well. Look at that. Easy zip up. Okay, I think that's good. Like honestly, I don't know how to put that part down that makes it smaller but hopefully it'll squish into the uh, bins or whatever they're called okay so that's my carry-on and that's my backpack haul for you guys of what i'm packing for my trip wish me luck on the flight it's like 16 hours to washington and then we're going to see kiersey in chicago and we're going to be staying with her for about three days so i will definitely make sure and vlog as much as i can on this trip so you guys can see the whole travel vlog um and then kelty and kearney will be vlogging like a day in their life in ethiopia so without further ado that is the end of this video kearney's not packing she's already packed which she was like very on it quickly doing that the night before yeah, we'll see you guys in the travel vlogs. Make sure to like, subscribe, and turn on those post notifications. We're so glad you're watching this video and that you're here. Love you guys. Bye!